Alright, welcome back everyone to Prey. So we uh, helped out Dahl to help out us eventually in terms of getting this uh, place evacuated. So uh, now we need to uh, place the uh, neuro, the prototype no wave device. And then if that doesn't work, we have to access the self destruct console. So, uh, yeah. I'm waiting for him to go. Oh, we're not done the kill the cop, the cook. Oh well. Right, so we have to get to uh, part of the coral. So we're going to make our way back out of here. And eventually get there. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get into the Talos lo 1 lobby. Right. So we need to get to... Uh, where exactly? Psychotronics. Down there again. Run! Let me through. Right. Down we go. Right. I'll see you when we get to Psychotronics. Right. So we've made it. So we've got our... Uh, destroy this thing. Got plenty of shotgun shells, so I think I'm gonna equip that. Um, we'll gobble on a bit of food. Right. Attack that. Nope, I don't give a shit, dude. Right, how the hell do we get upstairs? Getting past, I guess. Wait. Oh, this is just another way around, isn't it? Oh, crap. I hate those guys. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I forgot we had to add these. Right, jump up. to go to get in there again. Shit. Oh, 
bastards. Alright. Uh, hello. Hate you guys. Yeah, we have to go in here. Oh no. I got rid of you, didn't it? Screw you guys. Going in. Micro gravity detected. Please let this work. You better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. That should do it. Come to the bridge. We can finish this thing once and for all. Ow, I got forced back in. Alien matter ripping through the hull. You have to move. Boy, boy. Every window in this station. It's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. I wish I found you and I killed you, you know what? Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark. But what if we're just poor swimmers, and now there's blood in the water? Yeah, well, if we don't try, then we'll never find out. Still always blow this place up if it all goes to hell. that for me, thank you. I knew there was a good reason for keeping them around. Kill it. I know you glitch into the floor, but kill it. Thank you. Ow. Forgot about that. Right, we'll just get him health kit down as we've got plenty of them that's for sure we'll actually take two and uh, yeah I'll uh, see you when we get into the lobby right so we need to get to the where again up there I think it says something about the bridge I've been up there before
run. Run. Ow. Bugger off. Get lost, you assholes. So where do we have to go? Talus One Bridge. How the hell do we get there? Is it Arboretum? See, it doesn't tell me. It just told me to come in here. Well, I, Arboretum's up, isn't it? So yeah, bridges usually are on the top of the deck. Yeah, there we go. I forget how tall such a place like this really is. Right, sorry there's been a lot of loading screens this episode. But we're obviously making our way through large parts of the uh, station, so uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get to the Arboretum. Microgravity detected. Oh hell. Oh, it's really screwed over this place. And when I was talking about loading screens and then loading screens that I have to go through, obviously you guys don't have to see that kind of stuff. was that? Right, let's get down. Go, go, go. There we go. Right, when I was talking, um, like I said, about loading screens, I thought we're going to have to go through another one. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get to Talos 1 Bridge, which we, I don't think we've actually been to. So, uh, yeah, new area. So, I'll see you when we get there. If I can get through... There we go. Right, so we've made it to an area with gravity. Hopefully. What's the update on our station? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I've informed him of the threat to the station and. Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. She's a bit bossy, isn't she? I guess this is one place I should have come while uh, playing the main game. Well, I am playing the main game, obviously, but you know what I mean. What the hell have you done? I simply acted on Morgan's orders. Nonsense. You're a machine. No conceive one. Morgan would never. You tricked him. Who programmed? Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. As we know. need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you will be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos One and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. Oh, for God's sake, why does everyone put these kind of decisions in my, in my hands? Uh, uh. I'm not 
really in favour of killing everyone on this station. Been enough death as it is. And just like that, it's all gone. What is the neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. Well, I don't know if that was the right decision or not, but there we go. So yeah, sorry this is a bit of a short episode, I really didn't know how uh, close we were to the actual finish. But uh, either way, that's a solid uh, game, quite frankly. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not I prefer it to Dishonored, which Arcane Studios also did. But yeah, solid enough, likeable enough, the combat was decent and easy, generally easy to get used to. And I like the uh, different ways that you could uh, obviously uh, play the game, because obviously I, there were Typhon uh, mods that you could uh, inhibit and uh, use them in combat and uh, in terms of getting around. I know I didn't do that, but I'm pretty sure if I uh, were to play through this game again, or at least show you guys me playing through it again, I would do that way and uh, try those uh, mods out and see what they're like to use. So, uh, yeah. But I like what I did with the uh, games myself. Obviously, you can choose different ways of uh, playing it. I just didn't feel like uh, getting new enemies out of everything else that we already did, quite frankly. So, uh, I think this is the start of everything going to shit in the background. So, uh, yeah, I just didn't like the fact uh, that I'd have to, uh, you know, obviously have new enemies to deal with as well as the ordinary uh, Typhon. So, because uh, obviously you'd have to deal with uh, the turrets that would uh, want to kill you as well. So, uh, whether or not they're easy to destroy with uh, those Typhon mods, I don't know, but I just didn't feel like, uh, you know, taking on another enemy when I'm already dealing with a ton of them already, so, uh, yeah. But there's obviously plenty of other things that I didn't do in this game. Didn't kill the cook, didn't uh, do some of the other objectives, didn't find all of the employees. But again, that's one good thing about this game. You can play for it again and just do pretty much everything else that you didn't do beforehand. And I feel like I did plenty enough, quite frankly. Certainly enough to uh, extend the runtime of the game, which has been pretty decent as well. Certainly a lot longer than the likes of Dishonored. Whether or not that's something that's because the story's uh, more fleshed out, or the characters are more fleshed out, or it's just a bit more, you know, long-winded in terms of getting things done, I don't know. But that's for you guys to decide. Me personally, I didn't really have much of a problem with the going back and forth areas, because it obviously meant that you could... Uh, rediscover things that were within uh, those levels and those areas because were, like I said before or in another episode at least I've found things that I've not seen before when I've gone back to a certain place I've already visited so uh, yeah solid on that front and uh, yeah look forward to seeing what other games Arcane are going to do I'm pretty not sure they're not going to do a sequel to this because obviously there was an original game back in 2006 or 2005 whenever it was whether or not they're going to do a sequel to Dishonored 2, I'm not, I, I doubt that. So hopefully they're going to bring out something that is uh, completely new. So, uh, yeah. Is that it? Yes. So, uh, yeah. Let's skip those just to see if anything else is going to happen. hidden location. Well, that's something you guys need to look out for when you, if you play for this game. Don't just quit out of the game as soon as the credits start rolling. Hopefully this won't take too long to load. Yeah, it's taking a lot less time than the other loading times, because that's why I edit them out, because they're at least a minute or so long, and that's the big problem with this game, is the loading times stupidly unnecessarily long, quite frankly. Come on, there we go.
it's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos Y. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37, but it left him alive. It could mean a low drive for retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I just don't think it's worth the risk. In the end, he chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. Well, this is an unexpected ending. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up. Like old times. What the hell? <laughs> well, there we go. Weird ending. Obviously, they were talking about the kind of decisions that I made throughout the game. Danielle was on about the cook, I think she was, that I didn't kill. Well, that's purely because I uh, didn't take the time to do that, but it's not that I wouldn't have, but yeah. But yeah, that was weird. Unexpected, but weird. So yeah, there we go. Game completed. Not sure whether or not uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it through again on my own time, but it's still a solid uh, game nonetheless. And as you can see, lasted me well over 24 hours. Maybe because I uh, struggled in areas and uh, was a little bit derpy in other parts where I uh, couldn't f figure out something pretty much easy when it when I realised what it was. But either way, that's still at least a 22, maybe 23 hour g game, and uh, that's a hell of a lot longer than Dishonored was. That was about 12 hours, if that. So. Uh, yeah, that's whether or not you think uh, length is quality, but personally I like a game that is at least gives me my money worth and yeah, more than got my money's worth with this, quite frankly, because I've enjoyed it from start to finish. Uh, had its flaws, but not going to really uh, drag on it too, uh, too much, because obviously it's a game that's had a troubled production history, so uh, yeah, going to give it a bit of leeway on that front. But nonetheless, solid game, highly recommend trying it out. And I look forward to seeing what else Arcane Studios do in the future, because I've enjoyed 
both Dishonored and Dishonored 2 are now this, so uh, yeah, they're on a roll. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.